Alright, welcome back guys to this Unity project we're doing. Um, I think this is part 3 now, so in this part we're going to model out some of the lamp and the bench. So this is what we're creating guys. In the previous video I'd done the terrain, we put the tree in and we added a bit of detail So and set up the lighting and stuff. So if you guys want to know how to do that, you know, go to part 2. This is part 3 I think. Um, so I've got my open to model our lamp and uh, we've also got some concept images I've just got a bench here so some free images I've got and uh, a lamp here so a nice old lamp you find in a park area alright guys so as you can see the lamp starts off a bit thick it gets a bit thinner it's got kind of a little semicircle here um, there's a cube and then the cube kind of gets bigger to host the lamp itself the lights and uh, it kind of like gets thinner from here and it's got a nice little object here I don't know what it's for uh, maybe this bit deflects the rain maybe it holds electricals I don't know I'm not an engineer but um, <laughs> that's what it looks like so that's what we're going to model so I'm going to try and do this as quickly as possible because uh, I can imagine that watching summer models not very interesting but um, if you already know how to do this guys feel free to model it yourself and concentrate on the unity stuff um, but straight away Maya always double check your settings go uh, preferences settings and your units make sure they're in meters so things appear a lot bigger you know when you import them into unity you won't have to fiddle about with scale alright guys so straight away I'm just going to model a little uh, cylinder so um, bring down the detail again I'm going to do this as quickly as I can to, so I don't bore you guys to death um, make it a bit thinner uh, so as you can see there's a um, a tiny bit here that goes kind of a semicircle get the um, let's deselect these and go to a face mode get the brush tool if you want to change the size of the brush guys hold B and then left mouse and drag to change the size um, face mode would be better uh, right let's start again let's deselect everything go into a face and um, alright guys and all we're going to do is extrude um, so right click extrude uh, bring it up a tiny bit first and uh, bring it out um, let's do it again so let's bring it out a bit more uh, so that looks about right let's go to an edge mode for a sec and bring these up a bit make them go out a bit more. Alright guys, so the next thing you've got to do is the actual the cube object. So to do that I'm just going to uh, deselect everything again and um, go into a face mode okay, and delete these faces and I'm going to just, all I'm going to do is make a little cube. So a little trick guys, if you want to snap an object to another one, hold down uh, C and middle mouse click a vertex you want to snap it to so boom there we go a lot quicker um, and that looks like a good shape so I'm gonna keep it to that scale change my mind I'm gonna make it a bit bigger let's just plonk it on top of our previous object uh, go into our other viewport and do the same thing kind of align it alright so that's that um, the next thing is the actual light which kind of goes upwards so uh, let's extrude again let's go up this time scale it out bring it up a bit more that looks a bit that looks alright I think and um, let's just do this to break it off a bit and uh, again scale it in that looks about right guys, the actual light looks longer than this bit here and then we've got to deal with this bit so just create a little cylinder again hold C guys, middle mouse, middle mouse the thing you want to snap it to um, it's a bit big in it so uh, let's make it a bit smaller put it in place in this viewport put it in place in this viewport way too detailed, we're not going to see it very well, let's change this to 10 and uh, the next shape is this oval kind of semicircle shape so uh, let's go back into our face mode, select these again 
extrude again <laughs> alright guys bring it up a bit and um, drag it out do it again and again so we're just kind of modeling out the basic shape of this thing um, one last time and the last thing was a little thing on top on it guys so uh, right let's let's go to an object mode so uh, right this is our basic lamp it looks pretty good I think came out pretty good um, the first thing we want to do is smooth out some of these edges so go to an edge mode let's get a tool actually select ring select the edge ring so let's select that one um, that's another object altogether in it guys so let's do it separately <laughs> and uh, soften out the edges let's do the same thing here um, select edge ring tool uh, select all these and let's soften the edge again so uh, that looks pretty nice um, not all of them worked so soften edges I might have clicked hard on edges actually last time guys um, I don't know why that didn't work uh, that doesn't select, let's go back soften the edges um, let's harden out some edges as well normals harden edge so that looks a bit nicer so um, let's save this out actually um, where's my little there it is guys I don't know why I did that so let's go into our project I've called it moody scene assets and let's create a new folder where is it that's the one let's call it Maya so we can store all, all our original Maya objects in here let's just call it objects yep I'm using my student version and um, that's our basic object guys if anything I think um, looks a bit too long so bring it in a bit that's a bit too much just got to say I think and um, that's our object guys we need to make a bit more detail here so I'm going to do that now uh, so let's go to an edge mode let's select these edges um, let's select these edges all I'm going to do is bevel them out whoops uh, let's open our little panel and let's just bring the width down a bit bevel them out and again the offset's a bit much so I'm just gonna 0 0.01 alright guys so the lowest possible thing you can do alright guys so what I want to do now I want to select all our objects object mode um, kind of combine them together so mesh combine all one object and as you can see guys in our unity project we've got a different material on the light um, the main structure's got the texture map and stuff the actual light's got a uh, self illumined kind of thing so we need to separate these objects in Maya so um, before I do this I'm going to make the light a bit longer and go to a face mode select this face so select these four faces and mesh uh, extract and did that work? It kind of did. Um, uh, that's not actually the object thing I wanted to do, guys. So I'm just going to go to combine these four things. <laughs> that the same thing happened. Um, if you want to change the pivot point position, guys, keep your finger on D uh, and then just bring it up. Simple as that. So uh, actually, it did work. Um, uh, yeah, so it did work, guys. Um, I don't know what I'm talking about, it's a Friday evening so I'm a bit tired um, <laughs> so this is our um, objects, this is our little uh, lamp it looks pretty nice and before I finish this video um, again I'm going to select the edge ring tool and smoothen these out, I'm a bit of a perfectionist so uh, normal soften edge I'm sorry we didn't get enough time to um, model the bench in this video, probably do it in the next video and then we'll texture map this so 
make it look nice with a texture. All right, guys. So let's save this out again, and um, that's it for this video. I think. Um, and Maya is a really good tool guys, all your 3D modeling stuff you can do in 3ds Max, you can do in Maya, you can do in Blender which is a free bit of software but I prefer Maya. Um, I've done a few things in Maya, um, I wouldn't say I'm a guru at it but I can get the job done in Maya. If you tell me to model some income I can do it in Maya. So uh, this is our little lamp. Is it to scale? Well, let's have a little double check and what I'm going to do is guys I'm going to bring this down a bit and um, let's go into a side view kind of thing and select all these make it a bit smaller no we don't do that guys because otherwise our other objects we need to edit as well so um, I've got the uh, I've really messed up things now guys so I'm going to end the video now I'm going to just go back a bit <laughs> alright so let's stop messing about with this let's end the video now in the next video I'm going to model the bench uh, some nice modeling techniques through the bench guys to save a bit of time so I'll see you next video guys thanks for watching